Hello everyone, semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and miscellaneous odds and ends. Today, we're going to talk about what the heck are we doing to our kids and to society as a whole. Before we get started on that, let me say welcome to the new people. I'm glad you're here. What you're watching here is you're watching me walk. I know that doesn't seem super exciting, but just 17 short months ago, I couldn't do this. I could barely stand for two to two and a half minutes without severe pain. Now I'm out here walking every day and doing lots of other stuff. I'm doing things I never thought I could do before. The whole point of this is to show you that it's never too late to change your life. I started the day before my 59th birthday and now I'm 60 years old. Like I said, I'm doing stuff I never thought I could do before. And it must be October the 1st. It's actually not. I'm trying to look ahead into the future to tell you that it's October the 1st here in Nebraska. But you guys are going to see this on October the 1st. Before I go any farther, I do need to say thank you to Elizabeth. Thank you, Elizabeth. She hit my PayPal link down in the description and sent me a little money. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your support, Elizabeth. It means a great deal to me. For those of you returning to the channel, Welcome back, I'm glad you're here. Yeah. More mowers, let's go back the other way. It does mean an awful lot to me that you spend a little bit of your day with me looking at my videos. And this is just a quick little video to say welcome to October. I hope everybody had a good September. And remember, the only challenge we're doing for the Burr months September, October, November, December, is to continue to try and get 1% better. 1% better every day. Childhood obesity rates are up. Childhood fatty liver has become such a thing that they had to rename it. And childhood diabetes rates are through the roof. I heard an interesting little uh, analogy from Dr. Gary Fetke that I wanted to share with you. And he's talking about, you know, if you have kids with, with peanut allergies, you don't send them off to school with a peanut butter sandwich and an EpiPen. Why in the world? Are we saying, oh, it's okay, go ahead and have a jelly donut and a juice box for breakfast. We'll just give you this little shot of insulin to help you out. It just seems dumb. Here we are, the, what are we at now, 80%? of Americans, actually I think it's 88% of Americans are showing at least one marker of metabolic disease. Childhood obesity rates are up to what, 42%? What kind of a future are we making for ourselves here? I mean, I'm 60, I'll be long dead and gone here in just another little bit, who knows? I mean. I had heart surgery at 55, so I feel lucky to still be alive. I may have another 20 years or so. That'd be great, but we'll see what happens. But what kind of a world are we given to our kids by teaching them it's okay Go ahead and have that peanut butter sandwich. Just make sure you've got an EpiPen to go with it. Or it's okay to go ahead and have 
GPS truck. Or it's okay to have that sugar. Here, just take some insulin. What in the world are we doing? We need to wake up. Big food, big pharma. They're controlling everything. All I'm going to say about the dietary guidelines put out by several very popular organizations is if those dietary guidelines were working, shouldn't we be a lot healthier now than we were 40 years ago? Boy, I just don't know. Take a quick look. You know, I've, I've done this before. Go ahead and go out to your favorite search engine out there and type in Beach Photos 1970 and then type in Beach Photos 2023. Take a look at them. See what you think. There's a big difference there, isn't it? And what happened in the 70s? We got food guidelines. We got all of these companies recommending what we should be eating. If those recommendations were correct, why are we getting sicker and fatter? I don't know. We need to think about what we're doing, folks. Happy October the 1st. Keep pushing forward. Don't forget, get out there, be 1% better. Today, tomorrow, every day. Have a great day, folks. We'll see you in the next one.